Hey crew, I wanted to talk to you about the new RTX A4000 coming out just around the corner, June 14th. It's when we're going to expect to see it. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, you know, there's also a 3070 debuting uh, just around the corner. I think the release date on that's supposed to be June 10th. So we're going to see a lot of these new GPUs hit the market. But I wanted to talk to you about both of them real quick. The 3070 Ti is uh, uh, extremely similar to the RTX A5000. Or 4000, rather, sorry. The RTX 3070 Ti is extremely similar to the RTX A4000. Um, and in fact, they're pretty much identical with the exception of the RAM, right? So the 3070 Ti has 8 gigs of RAM versus the A4000 has 16 gigs of RAM. Now, certainly in the engineering world, like 16 gigs of RAM is definitely something we can use, right? Um, opening up very large files or making large edits or large, large computations, depending on what simulation software you're running. Um, but at the end of the day, they're going to be, um, they're going to be really similar. And so here I have the, uh, RTX 3070, uh, TI kind of brought up here. Um, the price point is, is starting at, uh, 500 for the 3070 regular, which is also a really good GPU and the 30, 3070 TI coming out here really soon. Um, I think it's a hundred dollars more, but then we go ahead and look at the RTX a 6,000 and look at the data sheet, 16 gigs of Ram with the same amount of CUDA cores and the same amount of tensor cores with the same amount of RT cores. Right. And so we're looking at all this stuff here and we're seeing the similarities. Um, but the price point is certainly very different. Let's go and look at full specs. Um, eight gigs of Ram, two fifty six. Uh, it's it's gonna have the same R RT cores. Like they, they're not gonna change that unless it's actually a lesser version of the of the um, GPU, um, like a scaled version of the GPU rather. But um, certainly very excited for this. I think it's gonna be an awesome GPU for um, entry SolidWorks users, um, as well as like intermediate i think entry to entry to intermediate is going to be an awesome gpu for most people and it's not going to break the bank i mean it's not terrible it's not like an rtx a6000 at 5500 dollars, right um an a4000 about 1400 you know it's it's obtainable right it's not it's not outside the realm of, of, of obtainability um and 24 gigs of ram is is excellent i'm so glad that they improved that over the like the rtx 4000s and the and the quadro 4000s and so on they usually the one thing that held them back was the amount of ram that they had cool so that's my take on the 3070 ti and the rtx a 4000 they're right around the corner i think they're gonna be great gpus um i think you're gonna get a ton of bang for your buck which is a 3070 ti if you're looking for um, a good gaming system especially now that maybe you can squeak by and get some of all the scalpers do um, I think it's going to be a great bang for the buck. And then if you're an engineer and you're looking for the A4000, I'd say grab it while you can, right? Usually workstation cards don't fly off the shelf as fast as um, as gaming cards. But, uh, but uh, you know, I would say get it. All right, crew, that's my take on the new 3070 Ti and the RTX A4000. Hey, thanks for watching. I can't I can't appreciate your support enough. And it's you guys that allow me to keep making these videos. Thank you for your support. I, I greatly appreciate it. Stay curious and fight on.